welcome to my channel once again today we are going through again application procedure for summer semester for the course embedded system engineering in one of the good colleges because it's also a very famous colleges because here robotics is famous but yeah uh, I'm applying for embedded engineering embedded system engineering you can just go through the procedures and the deadline is still December 15th I think today's ninth you have like seven uh six days left if you uh, if you want to apply for summer you can apply with me after uh, watching this video or if you want to apply for winter you can just wait for another three or four months then you can apply the same procedure as for winter so with, without any delay we'll start with the application procedure of university of freiburg it also comes under banner notable so if this uh, if if uh, any college which comes under banner notable state there has a tuition fees of 1500 yes that's the thing i wanted to mention then let's start with the video then this is the thing where you want to search university of freiburg at the first place then you can click on university of freiburg this is the official website of university of freiburg and then you can search for international students so we are international students so we'll check click on this what they have let's see so there they have the link for english thought program degree courses so this is the thing what we want to apply so we'll click on english thought degree courses so then you will get a list of all degree courses which they have taught in english so these are the 28 degree programs that they are teaching in english so you can just uh, search and there are some bachelor of arts also so if you want you can just apply and there is computer science master course also and british and north biomedical science anything it's your major like uh, if you want to apply for physics yes you can also apply for physics but like lot maybe people i'll show for electrical engineering but some people are uh, asking me to make video on computer science on the same university no uh, like if it is embedded system is i'm making then it's the same procedure will be for computer science just only like link will be changed but documents what they need is at the end it's the same document what they uh, what they need so it doesn't make any sense making same video or the, the, what you can say same application video on same colleges for different course it doesn't make any sense so i'm making one video where you can just have a look on this and you can just apply so today as i told earlier we're gonna uh, we're gonna apply for embedded system engineering so we'll click on embedded system engineering so this is the thing here they have mentioned summer semester for non-eu citizens is until 15 september so we are in the deadline for six six days so we can just click on uh, well, like we can apply so these are the things where you have to check about application here they have mentioned that you can check the program website for the uh, details how what they need and admission requirements and things so here you can just go through how what they work and what's the interest of this but yeah this in this the uh, different part when I was applying the only different thing I observed here is they need IELTS of 7 band not 6.5 that's the only extra extra what you can say uh, document they need because all other colleges will have 6.5 but this has 7 other than that everything is same so you can just click on online portal here um, as of us we don't have a login credential so we'll click on registration so the first time we are registered then we'll click on ok then these are the thing where you have to fill so I'll just like normal questionnaires you can just fill everything and you can just click on I have read the terms and condition and then you can click on uh, register now registration is uh, successful they have sent a, a link to email ID where you have to verify your account and you can just click the act, uh, uh, activation code here or you can just uh, click from the link directly so you're you're verified then you can again uh, start with the procedure so here username we have to mention so please sign up with your username not with your email id they have clearly mentioned so username will be here where user id is this for me they have only given and the password is self-selected which you have selected while registration process was happening the registration form was filling so you can just click on same password which you selected while you were filling the registration form so once this is done you can just click on login and you logged into application portal now we'll start application proce uh, process so here what 
you want to study and apply for the study place this is the right page where we have to apply for the course click on that then you can just here make sure that yes i enable email notification for any updates like uh, after applying if they, if they will send you that your application is received your application has been checked and decision has been made you can just come and look and your decision is like selected or not you'll get it so you can just click on save selection and here add an applicant so we are the applicant and this the thing address and your email id uh, what your username what they have given and applicant number is the thing so these are the things where you can have a look and here you can just click on add an application so now the application procedure starts so degree which degree we are applying for we are applying for master of science master of arts master of education master of science yes ms so major which major we are selecting embedded systems engineering so see here we just have to select applied physics or mathematics microsystematic molecular medicine whichever you want you just apply so application procedure will technically remain same so click on embedded system engineering then which is study program you see i'm not playing for fast study program see i have uh, I, like, I have seen so many people who are asking what this option means so this option is say example as of now i'm studying in uni Stuttgart. So I studied one semester, but I don't like here. I want to change for uh, Freiburg, say example. I, what I'm studying is also technically comes under embedded. What they are offering also comes under embedded. If you are going for same co same courses where you can shift your credits that you have done here to that college, say example, both both uh, both comp uh, both colleges has same subjects. Say example some automation systems or some programming subjects like python c++ or machine learning subjects if both are same if i have passed that in first semester that credit can be transferred so then if you are applying for directly second semester by uh, like thinking that i have finished one one semester here i'm going for second semester then you have to select for uh, like second semester then you will be uh, uh, they will take a look on that then they will directly admit you to for second semester but here we are applying freshly that's why we have to click on uh, first semester so with specific prerequisite for admission so then we can click on next So these are the things where you have to go, uh, give about previous university studies. So this feels like straightforward to you guys because on all application procedure the same thing comes. So you can just study uh, bachelor's, B.Tech and university is with you. I'm just filling. You can just fill properly because. for you it is important so yeah, I'm just giving the normal things so bachelor of technology and other degree you can just click on next for this I think at last you have to upload the drug yeah I thought and then it came so current state of your university degree I have finished my previous studies and I can upload my diploma so here they have three options i have finished my previous studies but i have not received the diploma yet and i have not finished previous studies i think you can understand by reading only but i'll uh, i'll make you understand a little bit more so la last option is the case when i was applying uh, like two years back because i was applying for all colleges when i was in seventh semester of my bachelor's itself that means i didn't have completed degree and I didn't had any diploma or certificate also so that case when you are applying in seventh semester or sixth semester or eighth semester still you're while you're studying only then you have to select the third option then you have finished degree but you have not received the transcript and diploma certificate this happens for sure in VTU because if you have studied in Karnataka under VTU yes that sucks you know you know about that maybe those people comes under second one and the first one is normal people who are after degree they are working then they have all other certificates and they are up coming here to apply so for the what easy procedure i'll select the first one so that because as of my position is i have all everything in my hand so then please name the degree and subject that you have studied it so you can just 
collected EEE or electrical engineering expect the data expected date of completion this would be mandatory if you click on the second option I guess or yeah for if you click on second option you have to click on this so but I think it's not going then I'll write everything so date of degree completion was 2020 September 30 okay name of the university of higher education it's like video I studied and country is India then grade according to German grading system if you don't know please enter zero so we don't know so a lot of people make confused while they're converting they don't know how to convert and all but when I converted that mine was 1.7 because uh, I applied for VPD in university unis, unis, unis it itself convert the our grade into uh, German GP and sends that PDF VPD so by VPD I know that it is 1.7 but they have clearly mentioned if you don't know you can just click on zero then if applicable grade in international grading system say example if you're giving zero for them they have to uh, calculate right so then you will click on here percentage or like how many percentage and highest possible marks so here you will click on how much you have earned and here you will learn uh, like say example 80 percent and this will be 100 like that you can put then it, uh, existing matriculation no number at unifab like say example if you have been matriculated in unifab pass and please enter the ma matriculation certificate this happens in some universities like in our in in our university of stuttgart also we have two course which is called electrical engineering and infotech so those two subject uh, two, those two courses are almost similar almost you can see but some people will apply if come to electrical study one semester and apply for infotech next semester then you have to fill your matriculation number here because you are already university of stuttgart guy that's why then you can just upload some transcript of record for me i don't have anything in this linux system so i'll just upload my cv everywhere then you can click on next Ah, so okay. This is the I have finished my previous studies diploma. So that's why you have to here upload your degree certificate because uh, previously we uploaded only transcript. So here we have to upload our degree certificate. Then you can click on next. Here I think it will ask about language instruction. What are the things? Ah, this APS document. So I think I have to make a video on APS document for sure. The next video for sure it will be APS document as of now for uploading and completing this procedure I will upload a dummy document so which is my as usual my car CV but I heard about APS document sorry for the delay so many people are asking and I'm getting forgetted because we didn't have this APS certificate so I'll just spend some time and learn how to things goes there and what are the why they need what are the things what are the applications you need then I'll make application position for sure then you can click on next so okay here there the language instruction so you can just click on TOEFL international based TOEFL computer based TOEFL German University and things and where we have written IELTS and again you can just click and level of proficiency you have it's for 7.5 to C1 yes then IELTS it is yes and other if not a test result is you can just point out how much you got and you can upload a certificate so now again I'm uploading my CV so you can click on next uh, the next one will be German proficiency German proficiency I think if you have you can put otherwise you can't leave so I'll click I have that's why I'm giving quite a certificate level of B1 and test grade result I think I just passed in all criteria because it uh, in B1 you will you you'll have individual grades so I don't know how I I have to give but I'll give the average one of all four is just 65 I just barely passed uh, but yeah difficult it is for me though learning German so here are the documents where you have to upload your curriculum vintage and other documents optional this where your other documents place role where you have you can upload your 
trans uh, like what you can say certificates some co curricular activities job recommendation job working experience everything you can just play so in curriculum vintage i'll put my cv which i'm putting everywhere and just open it and next ah, okay i'm getting an error where i have to fill ah, i declare the study program everything is correct yes then i'll click on enter next so i think all documents is done this was easy and straightforward i think you can just kill so now here this this complement uh, please download the following document and you have to print fill sign scan upload they have only said what are the things you have to do so you after doing all this print fill sign scan upload then you can click on upload then you can click on next so the, you can if uh, that uh, pdf will be on that link you can just click on that link it will go take you to that pdf you download it fill they would have asked what are the questions you need you have to fill and you could have just made it then you can you have to click on i have we confirm and submit application boom your application is submitted and this is the procedure you want to follow in order to apply for university of Prague. as soon as it got accept uh, like uh, added you can see here application but I am cancelling my application because if someone is seen that they would have they will for sure they will put me in block list because I uploaded only series so but you can wait for your submitted application and they have a edit option also in University of Freiburg yes until the deadline is over so until the uh, deadline is over you can just edit the application and you can submit how much ever time you want so yes this was the application procedures for uh, University of Freiburg thanks for watching this video and if you are not new to my channel please subscribe yeah it's growing good bit of it but yeah please make me make my channel to uh, like people came across uh, if it goes throughout everyone it's really good because this content of filling application there are so many uh, I don't know at first when I started there were very not even a single person because I was the one who started first but now people are mm -hmm, doing application procedure also but don't care I'll help you with all the application procedure so you can just forward this video to everyone and don't forget to subscribe and at last disclaimer or FYI I am going to make a video on APS document the next video will be on that keep waiting and have a nice day bye bye